Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use fetch so that we can grab data from somewhere else and bring it into our list view. Now what I've done is I've created a component called fetch component and it has the same exact code that we have in the list view component. Okay, I just changed the name of it here and down here. Okay, and what we want to do is pull data from uh, a third party API. So we're going to get it from this uh, JSON placeholder, which is a fake online REST API for developers. And let's grab uh, the to do's. Okay, so you can see we have a resource here for to do's and gives us, uh, I think, 100 to do's with a user ID, an ID, a title, and completed. All right, so what we want to do here is let's um, get rid of this because we don't need this anymore. We're not using this local data. And then we're going to change this up down here a little bit. We're going to keep this, this DS, and keep the state to, to, do, to do data source. Uh, but we're just going to set it to DS for now. Okay, and then down here what we're going to do is create a um, function to fetch the to-dos. So let's say fetch to do's okay and to do this we want to say fetch pass in the URL which is going to be this one here now I don't want to get a hundred of them we can actually go like this we can say uh, question mark underscore limit equals and let's say five and that gives us five of them so let's grab that and we'll go ahead and paste that in there. And it's going to give us a promise. So we have to say dot then. And in here, let's put an arrow function. We'll say response to response dot JSON. And then we're going to do another then. And in here we're going to do the same thing, pass in response, which is now uh, JSON. Set it to a code block. And then we're going to change the state. Okay, so this dot set state. Okay, and we want to take um, that data source, so to do data source. And then we're going to set that to this dot state dot to do data source and then we want to call dot clone with rows okay and then we want to pass in that response which is our data okay now we need some we need somewhere to call this fetch to do so we're going to use a uh, lifecycle hook component did mount Okay, this is the hook that's recommended for doing API calls. So we'll say this dot fetch to do's. All right, so let's uh, let's save that. See what we get. Okay, let's just reload that again. Okay, so let me try reloading that again. It looks like it's getting our five response, getting our data, but let's see, to do dot name. Oh, you know what it is? Is it doesn't use name. If we look at the response, it has title. So we'll just change name to title and save that. There we go. So now we're pulling in to-dos from uh, a third-party API. We could put the ID there in front of it if we wanted by just saying to-do.id. Go like that. And there we go. Okay, so we'll be using fetch uh, more later on. But that's how you can get data from a third-party REST API.